Welcome to another Topic Tuesday. This is Dr. Mike McCall, Source Health Center. We're going to be talking about blood pressure. Uh, blood pressure is a really important thing, obviously. Uh, but you got to remember that blood pressure is a finding, it's a symptom. Um, you can't be diagnosed with hypertension unless you've had three separate re uh, readings. And um, if they show up, then generally you will be able to have that diagnosis. Uh, but my mother, she has crazy blood pressure when she sees her doctor. It's like over 200, 200 like 210 sometimes over like 90. And she only had it in a doctor's office. It's called white coat syndrome. And so when you go to your doctor and you see that, and most doctors are definitely aware of it, you may want to check your blood pressure at home. If you have been diagnosed with hypertension, the best thing to do is buy uh, one of those electric ones and monitor your blood pressure at home because a lot of times it may be low at that time and it may be high at the doctor's office. It's really an important thing that you should look into. Uh, the next thing is, is generally in this country, we give three medications for blood pressure. We have diuretics, which is causing your body to lose fluid, thereby lowering pressure. We have calcium channel blockers, and what they do is they, um, well, what happens is your muscles need calcium in order to contract. If you can block that, then the muscles don't contract, therefore they're weakened. Um, and then the third one is uh, beta blockers, which is... Um, drugs that, in, that uh, cause the receptors in the heart for stress hormones not to trigger. And those three, those three things will tell you a lot about a patient. Uh, if it's a calcium channel blocker, they may be deficient in magnesium because you need magnesium to help balance the calcium. If it's a beta blocker, they're under a lot of stress. And our bodies are stressed by changes in temperature, biochemical things we're eating, things we're not eating that we should be eating. And um, it could be from physical pain, and it can also be from um, mental, emotional stress. So uh, the, the, the concern is some cardiologists are finding that when people are on long-term uh, medications for blood pressure, they, they, their chances of developing congestive heart failure increase quite a bit. So what you want to do is what can you do to figure out why your blood pressure is high? That's really where you want to be able to do instead of just trying to lower it. Um, some things to think about, we talked about calcium, we talked about food allergies can cause blood pressure, you can go to a naturopath and have that done. I would highly recommend that you do the finger prick test and send that in instead of the skin test that some of the um, allergists use. Um, also consider uh, acupuncture, massage, um, exercise you enjoy. Don't do exercise because you think it's going to keep me from dying. Exercise that you actually enjoy would be a good start. Uh, chiropractic works really well with blood pressure, but you can't, it's a hit or miss thing. Um, uh, and naturopathic medicine is fantastic at finding the ultimate cause. So, uh, you have more cards in your deck than you imagine. If you're happy on your meds, then great. Um, but if you're looking for um, other ways of looking out there, the information's out there, I'd highly recommend that you research it. If you have hypertension, I think that you should be able to carry a cuff with you and check your blood pressure throughout the day and see where it flips. That's highly uh, important, and your physician would love to have that information. And so then we will continue our heart month of February, and uh, we look forward to seeing you next week.